Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm going to help you out and show you how to change your default keyboard on your iPhone XX Max. But before I do that, check this out. Okay everyone, so you decide to pick up the iPhone XS Max or even the iPhone XS. You don't like the keyboard, I'm going to show you how to change your default keyboard really quick on the phone. It's pretty easy to do. Maybe you're coming from Android and you want your favorite Gboard or Swift key on this phone. Yes, I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you want to do, go into the App Store, download your favorite keyboard. Like for me, I'm going to do Gboard. Search it. As you can tell, I already downloaded it to the phone. So I'm going to show you how to install it, make it your default. It's pretty easy. So you go into settings next. Once you download your favorite keyboard, you find general. Then you find keyboard. At the top, it tells you what two keyboards you have available, which is English and then the emoji one. You can always add a new one. Right there in the middle shows you the uh, third-party keyboards. So I'm going to hit Gboard. Now the next step is very important because you want to give it full access. You allow full access here. Bam. There you go. That's why you want to make sure you download a secure keyboard like Gboard or Swift Key. Don't download one from a different site or one that you can't be trusted. All right, so you have your keyboard downloaded. So if you go into the messaging app, the way you can actually switch in between it is right here. You can just hit ABC and it switches. Now you into the regular keyboard. If I hit that thing again and go back to ABC, switches in uh, to Gboard. Now the thing with iOS, it remembers the last keyboard that you use. So if you want to switch again, you're back into Apple. Now, if you don't want to switch, if you just want Gboard to be your main keyboard, that's quite easy. You go back into the keyboard settings here, and then you hit edit, and you bring up these three little things. You can actually delete it if you want to. What I recommend is just clicking this little button, moving it to the top. So now, once you go into, say, like Chrome or anything, and you go into keyboards, bam, Gboard is the one that first comes up. Now, again, if you want to switch it, you can hit the little icon right here, and it will switch back to Apple, and bam, you're back to Gboard. But if you want Gboard as your default or Swift key, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. If y'all learned something from this video, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for more coverage on the iPhone XS Max. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. You have a great day.